So what's wrong with this new macro? Well, we can't actually error check it. If malloc here uh, succeeds, it's going to assign uh, array size to zero. And the value of array size is zero. And if malloc does not succeed, it's gonna initialize our struct members to zero and null. And the value of that is, well, it doesn't even have a value because we have costed it to void. So if we even try to put this in an if, oh, we can't actually do that because it's gonna give us a warning because the value of init, the init here is void. It is without value. Just like if we try to check the return value of a void function, which doesn't return a value. So how do we fix that? So we can actually have a return value to check if the new or the malloc succeeds or not. Well, we can use a comma. And what the comma will do is it will change the expression and or change the value that is evaluated to the rightmost expression. So in this case, if malloc succeeds, it's going to go to this, right? And then it's going to set uh, array size or assign array size to zero. And then it's going to discard that value. And then uh, we have comma one. So the rightmost expression is one and it's going to evaluate one. If the malloc fails, we're going to go to this and then it's going to initialize our struct members and it's going to discard the, well, it <laughs> doesn't even have a value, but it's going to evaluate the rightmost expression, which is zero. So now we can actually error check it. So as we can see, actually, uh, it doesn't show warning anymore. So let's say if, if new is zero, or we're gonna return early or something. But yeah, now we can actually error check our macro.